Hello, everyone. I'm Qian Liu from University of Technology, Sydney. I will introduce our work, Keyword-Based Candidate Retrieval for Cross-Lingo and Linking. This is a joint work of University of Technology, Sydney and Microsoft Research. This is the outline of my presentation. I will introduce our work, including introduction, method, experiment results, and conclusion. First, I will briefly introduce the task of cross-lingo and linking. This task aims to ground a mention in a source language with its entity in an English knowledge base. Generally, this task contains two steps. The first step is candidate retrieval. There are millions of entities in the knowledge base. This step retrieves a small set of entities that are related to the mention. The second step is entity disambulation. It re-ranks the entity retrieved by the first step and returns the right entity to the mention. Candidate retrieval plays an important role in this task. In this step, if the correct entity is not retrieved from the whole knowledge base, the downstream steps will never return the right answers. In this paper, we focus on improving the quality of the candidate retrieval. There are two gaps in this task. The first one is cross-lingual gap because different languages have different scripts. The second one is mention to entity gap since surface forms of entities are different from the mentions. There are two methods for this task, lexicon-based method and semantic-based method. The lexicon-based method relies on large-scale bilingual resources such as Wikipedia interlanguage links. These methods are easy to be implemented, but they only cover a small percentage of target language entities. The, uh, the semantic-based methods represent the words of source language and target language into the same vector space. Then they conduct vector retrieval according to their web their similarities. However, this method lost the lexical matching information, which is important to retrieve. In this paper, we jointly leverage semantic retrieval and lexical retrieval. In our method, semantic retrieval is used to bridge the cross-lingual gap. It does not rely on large-scale bilingual resources, which may be hard to collect. The lexical retrieval is used to bridge the mention to entity gap. They are flexible and effective to search related entities to a mention. Our method is a keyword-based method. We learn a set of English words as keywords. These keywords are semantically related to mention and lexical related to entity. There are three components in our method. First, we leverage bilingual word representations to generate an initial intermediary collection. This step is targeted at the cross-lingual gap. In this component, we only use a small dictionary. We don't need large-scale bilingual resources. Second, we design a selective mechanism to refine keywords so as to improve its ability to connect the source language mention and target language entity. Third, we use keywords as queries and conduct lexical retrieval on the whole knowledge base so as to bridge the gap between mention and entity. Then I will detail each comp component. Considering a Spanish mention with keyword, the first component is to generate a set of English words that are semantically related to, to the mention. We follow the method proposed in unsupervised machine translation using monolingual corporal only. It first learns a mapping to align Spanish and English in binding space. Then it retrieves the most similar English words to the Spanish words using cross-domain similarity local scaling metric. As such, each Spanish word is associated with a set of English words. These English words together are regarded 
regarded as initial keywords. Then we design selective mechanism to improve the quality of keywords. We observe that keyword collection is suffering from duplication and coverage problems. For example, it contains miracle and miracles. These two words have the same effect in the following lexical retrieval. So that, uh, so they are, so these words are duplications and hinder other important words to be included in this collection and then arise a coverage problem. To alleviate these problems, we design a word level the maximum separation, separation algorithm to refine the keywords. The maximum separation is a simple but effective technology which is widely used in computer vision algorithms. It is to select one entity out of many overlapping entities. For word level NMS, we only select one word out of many overlapping words. The overlapping is defined as two words have same format after stemming. Then we combine the intermediary words as mentioned using four permutation. These combined mentions are den denoted as plausible English mention because they may be out of word order. Last, with plausible English mentions, we lexically search the knowledge base and generate the candidate entities. We build the search space. Each entity in knowledge base is converted to lowercase and then split it into words. Then we use the plausible English mentions as queries and use BM25 method to conduct a lexical search. The top entities are generated as the candidate entities. Then let me introduce the experiments to evaluate our method. We conduct experiments on two data sets spanning 11 languages. The first one is QALD. This is a benchmark for cross-lingual question answering. In this task, the first step is to link the mention in the question to the correct entity. We collect and clean this data set for our task and we released it on GitHub. Another data set is a candidate retrieval data set for low resource languages. It is also available on GitHub. We compare our method with five baselines, including the lexicon-based method, semantic-based method, and the keyword-based method. The code of our method is also released on GitHub. This is the overall performance on the QLD data site. Our method achieved, achieved the best, best performance. This is mainly because it leveraged both semantic matching and the lexical matching. We further compared the recall at 50, 200, 500, and the entity disambiguation performance conduct on top 1,000 entities. We found that our method consistently achieved better performance. Another table is the overall performance for low resource language candidate retrieval. We observe that our method achieved the best performance. Moreover, our method only leveraged plausible English mentions as keywords and does not rely on other languages. Then we conduct an in-depth analysis of, of our method. First, the auto vocabulary problem. If a source language word is out of the vocabulary in the embedding space, we cannot find its keywords. We use character level embedding to, to solve this problem. We found that there are about 4% words are out of vocabulary. With character level embedding, this is a 1.2% improvement on average. 
Then we evaluate the effect of water level and MS method in the selection component. We observe that our method achieves a significant performance gain using water level and MS with an average gain of 3.6%. For each, uh, for each mention, we generate an intermediary collection with T plausible English mentions. We vary T between 1 and 10, and the detailed results of recall at 1,004 different languages on the QLD data set. We found that T is set to 3 to 7. Our method achieved the best performance. Our method only needs a bilingual word dictionary, dictionary to align the source and target embedding space, which is a low resource reliance method. We compare our method with the Google Translator, which translates source language mentions to the target language and then generate candidate entities using the lexical retrieval. We found that our method achieves, comp achieves comparable performance with Google Translator. We then present several examples from the QA audit dataset to give an intuitive impression of our method, including source mentions, their entities, and the plausible English mentions. The red Mentions are important plausible mentions to recall the right entity labeled by human being. So to conclude, in this paper, we proposed a keyword-based candidate retrieval method for cross-lingual entity linking. It jointly leverages semantic retrieval and lexical retrieval. It takes an intermediary set of plausible English mentions as keywords to bridge two types, two types of gaps. Uh, the learned plausible mentions can capture semantics of mentions and uh, are effective to recall correct entities in the lexical retrieval. We perform extensive experiments on two datasets spanning 11 languages. Experiment results show the effectiveness of our method. That's all. Thanks for your attention.